Hey guys, welcome back to the Docker series. If you didn't watch my previous video of this series, I highly recommend you to watch it before continuing with this video as I discussed most useful instructions to build a custom image in that video. This video explains the best practices to build an image like multi-stage builds, docker caching and the using of docker ignore file. For demonstration, we will start building the custom image for react.js application with simple npm start and we will improve it to production grade quality by deploying artifacts to nginx using multi-stage builds and further enhance it to reduce the build times with docker caching and further enhance it with docker ignore file. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let me open our react.js application with VS Code. This is our simple to do react.js application. This is using the Spring Boot APIs which we deployed in the previous video of this series. And these Spring Boot APIs are talking to the MongoDB which we deployed with the Docker. Let us see how we run this application traditionally. First, we need to install the dependencies with npm install. Once the dependencies are installed, we will start the application with npm start. The application is started on the port 3000 of localhost. If you see, this is the to-do item that we created in the previous video of this series using Spring Boot APIs. We can also create the new item with the UI of this application. Let's follow best practices. If you see, the item is created here. Even if I refresh the page, the item is still here because this is persisted to MongoDB that we deployed with Docker. Now let us create Docker file to build a custom image for this React.js application. For a change, we will create the Docker file with a different name, dockerfile.dev. The steps we need to follow are npm install and npm start. So as we need npm, we need the base image as node from node. I'm using the Alpine version of the node because that is smaller in size. Now let's create a directory for this application, workdir slash app. So we are creating app directory in the image. Then we will copy our source code to the image, the current directory to the working directory. Then we should run the npm install, run npm install. Next we should run the npm start and this should be the entry point for our service. So entry point npm start. That's it. Our Docker file is ready. If you're not sure what are these instructions, as I said, please watch the previous video of this series, which gives you a detailed explanation of what each instruction does in a Docker file. Let's build the image out of this Docker file using the Docker build. Docker build iPhone T to do iPhone UI and let's give the version as 1.0.0 and current directory. If you see the error, docker file no such file or directory. The error says there is no file called docker file. This is because we created the docker file with a different name. If we don't specify any file to docker build, by default it considers docker file. As we have a different name, we should give that name to the docker build. To give the file name, all we need to do is iPhone F and our file name dockerfile.com. Dev. This was the name that we given for the react.js application docker file. Let's hit enter. Excuse me, there was a typo. Dockerfile.dev. If you see, the image is building. Awesome, the image is ready. Let's verify if the image is created with docker images command. Here we go. To do iPhone UI image with 1.0.0 tag. Now let's run this image to run our react.js application. Docker run and let's publish the ports 3001 port to the 3000 port and the image name is to do iPhone UI 1.0.0 and let's run it in the detached mode. iPhone awesome, the container is created. Let's try to access our application on 3001 port. Localhost 3001. Here is our React.js application running in Docker. If you see, you can see the same to-do items that we have created some time back. But there is a problem with this approach. First thing is, 
let's try to look at the logs if you see the message here development build is not optimized to create a production build use npm run build so the npm start command is used only for the development purposes for react.js application if you want to run it in the production we need to build the artifacts from our source code and then we need to serve it so let's do the few changes to make it production grade application all you need to do is after installing the dependencies we need to build the artifacts npm run build this will create the artifacts from our source code next we need to install the server module to serve these artifacts run npm install global level server module and instead of serving it with npm stat we need to serve it with the server module serve iphon s and we are serving the build direct that's it let's create the image and try to run the same let's use the same command that we used previously and just a change in the version let's run this image one version and let's run it on the 3002 port because 3001 port is already being used by other application let's try to access this application on 3002 port localhost 3002 oops something is wrong let's check the logs docker logs container id if you see the server package is serving on the 5000 port but we map to 3000 port so let's change this one 5000 port and let's change it to 3003 because 3002 port is already used by the previous container now let's try to access our application 3003 here we go this is our application there is another issue with this approach if you check the docker images the size of this image is 524 mb which is very huge all we need is build folder which is generated when we ran npm run build right then why so much big image if you observe npm install here this generates the node modules folder which is very huge and causing the image size to be big and we don't need that folder after we do npm run build we need node modules folder only while building the artifacts so one solution would be what if we get rid of node modules folder once the artifacts are built let's fix that with multi-stage builds let's write another docker file docker file dot prot we are going to fix this issue with multi-stage builds as opposed to single stage build that we did so far here we'll have two stages one is to build the projects with npm run build and the second stage is to copy only the build folder to nginx deploying to nginx so here instead of serving the application with serve package let's try to deploy to nginx so let's start with the first stage which is building the artifacts so from node alpine and let's create a working directory slash app and we will copy the source code next we will do npm install and then we will build the artifacts run npm run build so now we are generating the artifacts and let's give a name to the stage so that we can refer to it in the other stages so we can give a name to the stage with as build so this is my stage name well let's try to write another stage please note that each stage starts with a from instruction every stage has its own base image here we would need nginx as the base image because we are deploying it to nginx if you want to serve your application with serve package you can use the node image in the second stage also and let's use the stable iphone alpine version always try to use the alpine versions because those are very small size images which results into smaller images next we will copy the artifacts that are generated in the first stage please note that we are just copying the artifacts not the node modules folder if you see this is the build directory that gets created when you run npm run build this is a very small folder so we will copy with copy instruction previously we used the copy instruction to copy the files from source to destination but here our source is the first stage so to specify from which stage we want to copy the files all we need to do is iphone iphone from is equal to stage name our stage name is build and we are copying the slash app slash build 
directory because we created the working directory as slash app here and inside that we are generating the artifacts and we should copy those files to the html folder of nginx that is slash user slash share slash nginx slash html if you are using react router then we will need to change the default nginx configuration while building the image for that we need to copy a simple file to nginx you can refer to this file in the git repository i given in the description so this is the configuration file that we need to copy to the nginx to support the react routing and finally we will start our nginx cmd nginx and let's run it with daemon off mode daemon off now let's build the image and check the size of the image we will use the same command and let's give the version as 1.0.2 and the file name as dockerfile.prod oops something is wrong we did a typo here dockerfile the image is ready now let's check the image size docker images if you see the image size is just 34 mb and previously it was 524 mb that's a huge difference this is because if you see we have multiple stages in this docker file each stage generates a temporary image and these temporary build images are discarded along with the original files and folders associated with those images meaning in our example the first stage generates a temporary image and that image will be discarded along with the node models folder which that stage has generated as those images are discarded those will not be included in the final image and also we are copying only the build folder in the final image so with multi-stage builds we can generate a lean and production ready images and we can improve it more with the concept of docker caching let me try to change something in the source code so instead of to-do list i call it as my to-do list and save it and let's build the image if you look here npm install is running but why do we need to run this npm install for every docker build command that we are running we are not changing the package.json we just change the source code npm install is a very costly operation meaning it will take time to run npm install as it needs to pull all dependencies from the internet to optimize this we should run npm install only when we change package.json not every time this can be achieved with docker caching if we can achieve this one we can reduce the build times to greater extent to achieve this let's copy package.json and package-log.json separately package star.json and we are copying it to the current directory and then we will run the npm install then we copy the source code but how does it make difference let's analyze that for every docker instruction we run in docker file a layer is created and cached for further use to keep build times to a minimum meaning for all these instruction a separate layer is created and cached so that if the same instruction appears again in the future that layer is used instead of building that layer again this reduces the build times if something is changed at any layer all the subsequent instructions will be executed again else it will use the cache example if something is changed in the package.json all these instructions will be executed again now docker knows when this file is changed and npm install gets executed only when this file is changed if the file is changed all the subsequent instructions get executed until the last instruction if it's not changed the cache generated with the previous build will be used as we changed only the source code which we are copying here all the instructions after this command will be executed again not the previous ones so with docker caching all the layers generated from each instruction will be cached and will be used in the future builds now let's try to build the image and see how it goes if you look at here npm install didn't executed again you can see that this is using the cached version 
but npm run build is executed again because something is changed at this point now let's try to build the image without changing anything not even source code now even npm run build also didn't execute and the cached version is being used because nothing is changed at this instruction so this is the beauty of docker caching this is the last problem i can see before running this image when we are building the image with docker build at the end we are giving this dot here we are instructing docker cli that zip the contents of the current directory and send it to the docker daemon for processing we call this directory as build context but why should i send the entire directory for example here we have node modules folder which we don't need to send it to the docker daemon for processing because we will be generating that folder anyway with npm install also we don't need to send this build directory because we will be generating that one with the npm run build and this node modules is very huge and it will cause the delays to transfer that big directory to the docker daemon as the daemon is in a local you might not experience so much delay but sometimes the daemon can be in the remote and you are trying to access the daemon from your local in that case the delays will be super high so the obvious solution for this problem is sending the content only which is needed here probably we need this source folder and this public folder and few other files but definitely not this node modules and build folder if you used git you might have seen a file called .git ignore there we mention the patterns which should be ignored by git in the same way we can have a file called .docker ignore and we can mention what files or folders should be ignored to send it to the docker daemon careful with the file name it has to be .docker ignore before sending the build context to the docker daemon it checks if the file exists with .docker ignore name if it exists it will ignore the folders or files matching the patterns included in that file here let's include node modules folder and build folder we don't need to transfer these two folders to the docker daemon and finally let's run the image and let's try to run this image so the nginx runs by default on port 80 and let's map it to the 3004 port of the host let's try to access 3004 port from the browser localhost 3004 here we go now we optimize the image size with multi-stage builds and improve the build times with caching and dot docker ignore file as a practice try to build a multi-stage image for the spring boot application that we deployed in the previous video there the first stage would be packaging with maven and in the second stage starting your jar file i hope you followed along with me and got a fair understanding of how to build a custom image for different applications with best practices my name is Pavan Iltapu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.